What's up, Virgo, and welcome to my channel. I hope all of my beautiful, my powerful, and my sexy Virgos out there are doing well. All right, you guys, so we're going to start off this reading with angel numbers. So if anything resonates for you, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment. And if you're interested in a personal, my email will be in the description box below, okay? All right, Virgo, let's go. Ooh. Hold on, y'all. Let me pick these up. Okay, messages for my Virgo. So, Virgo, you could be seeing the number one, okay? One talks about new beginnings. So, Spirit is wanting to let you know if you are seeing the number one, if there is a new beginning that's on the horizon for you, okay? And the universe is urging you to begin this new chapter in your life here, okay? So, there's a new chapter in your life that the universe is wanting you to start, okay? And I feel like this is going to be a new beginning here for you okay look at this five 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 okay your life or whatever situation you are in is about to experience a major change i can't make this up this major change for some of you guys is about to lead to some type of new beginning in your life here okay we also have seven one 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 triggers that you feel are from your divine counterpart okay so some of you guys could be on a twin flame journey okay you could be feeling things you could be feeling emotions or different things could be triggering you at this time okay what that means is making you emotional making you think making you feel away but these triggers these things that you are feeling they are necessary for you to heal any past wounds that you have and any past trauma that you can have okay this can even be from childhood anything in your past all the way even up to childhood these triggers that you are having this is so that you can heal these things so that you can have a new beginning here okay all right you guys so these can be numbers that you see if you don't see these numbers these are just messages for you today okay all right messages for my virgos y'all let me shuffle through these cards right quick I hope everyone out there is doing well. I want to say hello to any new BFFs. I have anyone new that's viewing, okay? Anybody that's returning. If you are returning, go on and subscribe. Like this video, you guys. All right. Messages for my Virgos, Holy Spirit. What is it that my Virgos need to know at this time? One more show for y'all. Messages for my Virgos. What is it that my Virgos need to know at this time? Why are y'all cars want to fall on the floor today? Okay, so Virgo, we have young male. Okay, so Virgo, you can be this young male, or some of you guys, you can be dating a young male. Or there's a young male that could be interested in you, okay? This could be someone that drives a sports car. You know what I'm saying? They could be into cars. So this is someone that's very youthful you know what i'm saying they want to do they kind of fun you know what i'm saying lighthearted bring this little fun lighthearted energy to you okay all right so this new beginning for some of you guys you about to be this younger male here okay maybe you've been single virgo been a little while since you've been out on the dating scene okay tell us more holy spirit so even if you're younger older it don't matter you could be meeting somebody that's younger than you okay Ooh, and for some of you guys, okay, we got a past love, okay? So we can have, this could be two people, Virgo, okay? This young male could be someone from your past, okay? This could be a past lover. Or some of you guys, you could be meeting a young male and then bam, here comes somebody from your past, okay? This past lover that you was dealing with here, okay? This, this is someone that left you very heartbroken. Whoever this past lover is, this is someone that left you very heartbroken, okay? All right, tell us more, Holy Spirit. Look at this. I can't make this up. New love. For some of you, this younger male, okay, it's going to be new love. For some of you, this could be two or three. Look at this. We got somebody else. We got a fair male. Hold on now. Okay, Virgo. For some of you, you could be talking to a fair male. There's somebody lighter than dark. We got this younger male, and we got this new person, okay? For some of you guys, this could be the same person. This could be two people. This could be up to three people, Virgo, okay? But this will be new love. So I feel like after dealing with some type of heartache and pain in the past, Virgo, okay, you will be meeting someone new, okay? This is someone that's unknown. This ain't talking about your person from your past. So these right here is two different people. You got your past love and you got this new love here, okay? For some of you, this new love can be light skin. They can be younger than you. They don't have to be younger than you, okay? But this could be someone that's fair complexion here, okay? 
Tell us more, Holy Spirit, and we definitely gonna clarify and see what's going on. Messages for my Virgo of Holy Spirit. Tell us more. Now, for some of you guys, you and this person could start off as friends. You know what I'm saying? So when you meet this person, y'all may start off as friends. You know, build a relationship. It's kind of talk, kick it, hang out here and there, okay? Or this could be somebody that you're already acquainted with, okay? This could be somebody that you already call your acquaintance or your homeboy, your homegirl. Like, you already know of this person, okay? Now, it may be you know what I'm saying? You may not know if this person likes you in a romantic way, okay? But some of you guys, you're already friends with this person, okay? Or you're going to build a friendship with this person first, okay? So this new love that's coming in, Virgo, this is going to be someone that you and this person are going to build a friendship, okay? So this could be a relationship that's going to kind of start off slow. You're going to take your time, get to know this person, get to know they, they pros and cons, you know what I'm saying? Really get to know this person. Sometimes, you know, we kind of jump in and, and you don't really get to know a person until shit happens, okay? All right, Holy Spirit, tell us more. Okay. Now, for some of you guys, okay, this could be someone. Hold on now. So... Okay, for some of you, maybe this person owns, like, homes or they have properties. Maybe they're into to real estate, okay? Or this person could invite you to their house, you know, want to show you their house. Like, maybe they have a big old house or something. Maybe they want you to come to their house or you come to their house. Or maybe you guys have already been to each other's houses here, okay? Or this person, like I said, maybe they sell different properties. They're into real estate. Tell us more, and then we're going to clarify. Messages for my Virgos. And then we got this younger female, okay? So you could be this younger female or some of you males, you could be meeting a younger female, okay? This is someone that's very youthful. Now, this person could be into music. Maybe they write music, they sing, or they can be into fashion. This could be someone also that has red hair. So we got a young male and a young female, okay? So this is like a match to me, y'all. This is a couple. Y'all see that? Okay, now. And even if you ain't young, baby, you can be a little older. It don't matter. This person can bring out a little different side to you. You know what I'm saying? All right. So let's clarify some things here. Okay. So let's look at, because we know these are two or three different people here, Virgo. Lord Jesus. Okay. So let's look at this past love. Messages for my Virgo. So let's look at this past love. Some of you, that's okay. So some of you, maybe you are on a twin flame journey, okay? And you're feeling these triggers from your past love, okay? From your divine counterpart. And these triggers that you are feeling are to help you heal. So when spirit sends someone new to you, that you won't be going into this relationship kind of dealing with them like you dealt with this person from your past. And thank you, spirit. That's why we have friendship. Like I said, some of you are going to start off real slow. You're going to build a friendship with this person. Or some of you, you are already friends with this person now. Tell us more, Holy Spirit. Because remember, your life or whatever situation that you're in, baby, is about to experience a major change, okay? And that major change is that you can be entering a relationship. Tell us more, Holy Spirit. Tell us about this past love. Messages for my Virgos. Tell us about this past love, Holy Spirit. Yeah, this past love is somebody that you felt the need to protect yourself. Like when it comes to this person, some of you could be dealing with the Leo. It doesn't have to be. Like you kind of, you set boundaries with this person. Like whatever you was putting up with this person in the past, you ain't putting up with it no more, okay? You felt the need to protect yourself from this person, okay? Now, for some of you guys, remember, this past love could see that you got somebody new now, okay? And now that they see you got this new love, now this person wants to fight for this relationship. See, this person want to fight for you in the past, okay? But now you got somebody new. Now you got you a new boo. Now this person wants to fight for this connection, okay? This could have been some of you guys. This could have been someone that was married, okay? This past love could have been someone that was married, but now they are getting a divorce, okay? And now they're divorced, okay? Now this person wants to fight for your love here, okay? This could have been someone that was wearing a blindfold, okay? For some of you, could have been dealing with a Leo or a Taurus. doesn't have to be. This person was wearing a blindfold when it came to disconnection, okay? 
this person could have been questioning your intentions possibly because of what they dealt with. Like they could have been dealing with somebody in the past. Like they ain't really know, you know what I'm saying? They had to question this person's intentions. And so because they couldn't trust this person from their past, they didn't trust you. They kind of categorized you or put you in the same category as this person from their past, okay? And because of that, they were wearing a blindfold. They couldn't see that you could have been their divine counterpart, you know what I'm saying? You could have been their true love. But because they were wearing this blindfold, they were frozen in fear. They didn't make any moves towards you. They didn't open up. They didn't express things to you, okay? And I feel like whatever this person went through in the past, it made it impossible for this person to trust the love again. And I feel like for some of you guys, what you went through with this person, it's going to feel like impossible for you to love or trust again. That's why Spirit is saying for some of you guys, when this new love comes in, make sure you build a friendship with this person. Make sure that you can trust this person. Because I feel like for some of you, for what you went through in the past, you're going to have a hard time with trusting people here, okay? All right, so let's look at this new love now. Messages for my Virgos. I love you, Virgo. Tell us about this new love, this unknown person. Tell us about this new love, Holy Spirit. Tell us about this unknown person. Ooh, that came out quick. This is this this is past. Tell us about this new person. This person, this past love will be returning to your life. Okay, the five of cups. They're gonna be highly disappointed that you got this new love. I'm telling you. Tell us more, Holy Spirit. Yeah, they feel abandoned. They feel left out in the cold. Like this feel this old person. This some of you could be a Taurus. You got heavy Taurus energy. They go that five. Five, five, five. There's gonna be a change here. Look at these two fives back to back. I ain't even see this, y'all. Look at that five, five. Shit, can y'all see this? <laughs> There go the five. Okay, there's going to be a change. So some of you guys, let me tell you this. Now, some of you, this is going to be a new person all together. For some of you, this person could come back as a new person here. Because it ain't letting me see nothing about this new love. Okay, this landed on new love. Same person. So for some of you, okay. Some of you are going to get a whole new different person, okay? And some of you guys, this past love that left you heartbroken. In the past, this person is going to come back as a new person, okay? They're going to come back as a brand new person. And for some of you, you're going to get somebody new, okay? Somebody that's unknown here, okay? Now, this person in the past was somebody that was very stingy. They had like they wasn't interested in investing in a connection, in a relationship with you, okay? And I feel like because of this, you and this person may have a hard time entering this next phase. Like when this person come back, want to possibly build a relationship or a friendship with you. You're going to be like, nigga, I ain't forgot about what you did in the past, okay? So you may not trust this person. You may not believe in this person, okay? I feel like also for some of you guys, because of what you went through with this past love, you're not trusting your journey, okay? Spirit is trying to tell you you're about to have some major changes in your life, okay? Spirit is trying to tell you there are about to be some new beginnings in your life. But because of what you went through in the past, you're not trusting your journey. You're not trusting your path here, okay? Spirit is needs you to trust in them, okay? Trust that they got you, baby, okay? All right, you guys. So we have Leo, Taurus, Aquarius, Scorpio, Capricorn, Heavy Taurus Energy, Scorpio, Gemini, and Leo. So let's see who this reading is about. Let's go to the who did. And then we'll get the signs, okay? Messages for my Virgo. Now, Virgo, this could describe you or this could describe the person that you're dealing with, okay? Y'all yeah, take it how it resonates. I'm just shuffling the cards and giving them to you, okay? Who is this reading about for my Virgos? I was Who is this reading of? Ooh, okay. This could be about someone that had small hands. Who is this reading about for my Virgos, Holy Spirit? This could be about someone that wears lashes. Messages for my Virgos, Holy Spirit. Let me show these again. Who is this reading about? Hmm. Okay, this could be about an older female. Okay, this could be about someone that swim. 
18 to 20, someone that has big hands, or someone that wears or has a gold tee here, okay? Some of you could be dealing with a Leo, because Leo had that gold tee beard, and Scorpio did as well. Let's get one more, and then we'll get the signs here. What do you want to flip out? This could be someone that has short hair or a short beard. All right, so let's get the signs. Who is this reading about? We got Libra, Sag, Leo, Cancer. We got Gemini, Scorpio, Cancer, Capricorn. And we got Libra, Sag, Aquarius, and Scorpio, you guys. Okay, so some of you beware of this younger man that drives a sports car, this younger female that has red hair, a brunette hair, okay, or this light-skinned fair male, okay? All right, Virgo, that's all I have for you. I love you. And until next time, stay blessed.